All right, we're up with number 12. In this one, we want to graph this logarithm. Now, take note that this is a common logarithm. All right, there's no subscript written there, so I'm going to default to 10. And that actually means I could graph this directly on my calculator. All right, but things I also note, I, I see the minus 4 here. This is telling me that I'm going to shift right 4 units. It also tells me I have a vertical asymptote at x equaling 4 because whenever your uh, argument zeroes out on a log, you have, you have a, v, a VA. I also see this plus 8 here. This tells me I'm going to shift up 8 units. All right, and again, notice that this one here, this one affecting you left, right, it's inside the grouping symbols, and this one is outside the grouping symbols. And when I'm referencing grouping symbols, I, I literally mean these parentheses here. Okay, so let me erase some of my notation because it gets a little crowded. All right, so let's look for something that went right 4, up 8. So just taking a look at A, this looks to me like maybe it went right 4 but down 8. So I don't think A is my answer. This one looks more like it went left and up. All right, this one here does look like it went right and then up. So that's looking pretty promising. All right, and this one looks like it went left and down. And that's all fine and good, but let me just check this on my graphing calculator, right? So I, I see this here. Oops, let me do a different color. Let's do purple. I see this. Oops, where is my, there's my pen. So starting from that vertical asymptote and then moving very slowly up and to the right. Let's see if my graph matches that. So I'm going to go into my y equals. Let's clear this out. We're going to do log and in parentheses x minus 4. Close those grouping symbols and add 8. Let me graph here. I'm going to hit zoom standard just so I can see it a little better. Now, your calculator, whether it's the physical calculator or this app, they really have a tough time graphing logarithms. Even if I zoom in, like way in, you can see that it's not doing a whole lot. Oh, you can, but, oh, that's kind of fun. On the app, you can kind of see the second, it won't, it won't stay. Huh, I haven't tried this on the app before, but you can kind of see pieces of the function coming. Your calculator is just having a real tough time with it. But if you kind of see that, that, that part of the graph that comes in for just a millisecond, you can see it is up four, excuse me, right four, up eight. And that's the graph that we want to look at. And so if I head back to this paper, it definitely is C that it's matching with. All right. Thanks so much.